Kathleen Margaret Connolly has inflammatory thoughts about the Israel-Gaza war. She'd been sharing them regularly with her more than 2,000 Facebook friends. Since Hamas violently massacred 1,400 people in Israel, and kidnapped hundreds more, on October 7, prompting Israel to launch a deadly offensive aimed at decimating Hamas in Gaza. As an apparent employee at the University of Pennsylvania, with a PhD from Penn, a master's from Georgetown and a bachelor's degree from Fordham, according to her Facebook, Kathleen's voice, and anti-Israel diatribes, held weight. But Kathleen Margaret Connolly isn't real. There is no record of her ever attending, graduating from or working at any of these schools, they all confirm to Forbes. And the striking green-eyed, red-haired woman who appeared in Kathleen's Facebook profile picture is, in fact, a young actress in Dublin who told Forbes she was not aware the account had been using photos of her face for well over a year. As the Israel-Gaza war crosses the one-month mark, college campuses across the United States are facing an ideological reckoning and have become ground zero for protests, counter-protests and debates over hate speech and freedom of expression. But mainstream social media platforms, as well as those geared toward college students, are increasingly becoming vehicles to spread threats, stir up fear and sow division at American universities, including by agitators who may not even be part of the school community. Anonymous emails are similarly being weaponized. In an email obtained by Forbes, the director of the Penn Museum, where Kathleen purported to be employed as a cultural anthropologist, wrote to the museum board and other leaders about the fake account. He described its disturbing social media posts that contain hate-filled messages and anti-Semitic content, and said the school believed it to be an AI-created fake account designed to sow discord. Penn did not respond to multiple requests for comment about whether it has identified other fake social media accounts like Kathleen's, impersonating students, staffers or alums, posting content seemingly intended to inflame student conversations about the war. But this week, Penn President Liz Magill said the FBI and Penn police were investigating a potential hate crime on campus after an unknown sender emailed threats against the school's Jewish community, and specific buildings, to several Penn staffers. The Daily Pennsylvanian reported that, undisclosed individuals, have also used social media and email to threaten people at Penn who voiced support for Palestinians. And last week, Following an FBI investigation into anonymous threats that targeted Jewish students at Cornell, a 21-year-old student was arrested on a federal criminal complaint and charged with posting threats to kill or injure another using interstate communications. Disclosure. I graduated from Penn over a decade ago.